Petra. Evil Petra put me here, stole my tower, hid her, chew her bones. Let me out, kind, kind meat. With that introduction, we start another Skyrim video. I have been alternating with Red Dead Redemption 2 videos. I might have changed. Um, by the time this video is posted, Skyrim, the 10th anniversary edition, is out. So I might be recording some more Skyrim footage and editing it. Might be recording more Red Dead Redemption footage and editing it. But this video is here and now, and you are viewing it here and now. Um, when the Dragonborn goes to Markarth, and if he talks to Jarl Igmund, he may receive a quest to receive, re retrieve Horrorfeard's shield. And it's in an interesting location. You have to go to or go through a different location in order to actually get to the location of the shield. It's always in the location that you find it in. And it involves hag ravens, if you couldn't guess. So let's get on with this quest to retrieve hold fears or whatever shield. In order to get to the location that contains Holdfeard's shield, you have to discover another location called Blindside Cave and walk through that in order to get to the towers. Blindside Cave is inhabited by Forsworn, and the tower you need to get to is right up at the top here. And so I'm going to walk through Blindside Cave and take down some Forsworn. Sneaky Sneaky is always the best, and sniping them is always fun. Now, I'm going to use the Dragon Bow Bone, Bow, Dragon Bone Bow, blah, 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 and I'm going to take this guy out by using the bow to cut the cord here. Whenever you see hanging lamps like the one I shot down, there's usually pools of oil beneath them, and they're intended to be flame traps. Now, this one is kind of you walk through a confined passage, and there are more Forsworn up here. You just got to be very careful. Some of them wield magic, and they can be a real pain. Like that guy was going to win an archery duel with me. Now, there are some hidden treasures within this cave. And once you search the Forsworn, if there's nothing there, move on. Um, there is a Forsworn who wields magic. And I think he just found me. So I'm going to grab my ebony arrows and fight my way up. Okay, he was just an average 
Forsworn. And let's see. Uh, you know, Candlelight could be really handy here. I'm going to flip to the swords and possibly cast Candlelight because it's really dark. And yeah, I'm going to have to fight a Forsworn with. Hmm, yeah. Again, I'm going to cast Candlelight here. I moved instantly to the high ground here, and yeah, I'm going to blast her. She's not one that you, oh, she's not the one that wields magic, but there is someone who does in the tower there. I'm going to check this Forsworn out, and then I'm going to go back up to the top here. Yep, there's the magic wielding one, and yeah, she can be a real pain. But up here at the top of this path, let's see if she's coming at me. Yeah, what the hell. I'm going to go grab this treasure chest here and whatever's in it. Gold lock picks. Oh, I love lock picks. What's on top of the chest? Ooh, a book that brings up light armor. And I'm going to take refuge in here and see if I can battle out the magical Forsworn. That is one thing I hate about the ice wielding um, magic users is it saps your stamina real quick. And usually I'm not one who carries a potion of stamina. I'm always the guy who carries the healing potions because that's kind of more important. Can always outlast certain things with enough healing potions. Now I'm exiting this area, and I'm going to cast Candlelight again because there is some hidden treasure areas. And even though there aren't any more Forsworn, there is this area over here, and you can just jump down onto these rocks, and right around this area there's some gold and some hidden potions and stuff that you can pick up, um, some mountain flowers, yeah, I'm going to see if I can, yeah, a weak poison, and a, yeah, I can't even pick that up. That There, kicked it out. Still can't pick it up. Whatever. But, again, there is some hidden areas around here, and this is one of them. This area, there is a ebony armor, and now I'm going to work my way back up and out of this tower. Should have come here. Now you are in a tower that will take you to the necessary Hag Raven nest where you're going to have to fight off a few Forsworn here. Let's check this chest. Yeah, I'll take all of this. This urn and this barrel's empty, but this urn has a little gold. Once I open up this gate, I'm going to have to fight some more Forsworn and probably, yeah, it sounds like an Atronach. Right for the power! 
Now she's gone and the Atronach is gone. I'm going to go up to the next level here. Um, what I'm going to do is drop down to this level and open this gate up just in case. But I'm going to get back up to this level and now you got to fight this guy and cross a bridge. And let's see, a little dragon breath here, a little fire, and yeah, nice takedown. The next tower is where the Hag Ravens are and where the shield is. So I'm going to get us to the tower, but you look around, it is really kind of nice around here. Um, I love this well rendered. This is way, way better than the Xbox 360. This Xbox Series X, I have to say, I'm using an Xbox One um, disc or load of Skyrim. Uh, yeah, this is where you're going to eventually get out. And so you might as well go into the next blindside cliff. I'm just going to walk around here a little bit. Yeah, I'm just going to fast forward until I can get into the actual next tower. Whatever you do, just get back into the tower. You waste a lot of time wandering around. Now, this is where you will encounter the Hag Raven. Petra. Evil Petra put me here, stole my tower, hid her, chew her bones, let me out, kind, kind meat. Because, because you are such a nice Breton, yes. Oh, yes, you all look the same. Ah, you have a pretty staff. Help me find Petra. Wring her neck, pluck her eyes. Take my prize staff. I just want my tower back. Petra, Petra, cut her eyes. Yes, Kaldorf. Let us go up. I'd make her on the way. Most part, you follow Melka through, and she will not lead you astray. She can actually fight pretty well with magic, but you backing her up helps out. And there are some kind of secret areas where you can get into, and Melka will wait for you if you do. Okay, you're going through this passage to the right side. There are some metal bars and other things. I'm going to show you how to get to those after the battle and Melka takes down a Forsworn. Switch controls the secret passage that leads you to the metal bars. This is actually decent treasure. And you come down here, and here we are. There's that passage. There are these metal bars, uh, iron conundrum. There are these urns and this chest. And again, it's decent treasure. You just take Everything except the Iron Dagger, 
this burial urn, and then the burial urn right here, and that's it. Now you can return back to Melka and fight her battle for her, and eventually get a reward from her. Okay, the other hag raven is Petra, and she's dead. Melka, unfortunately, died in the whole battle. Uh, you get to take her staff, which is pretty good. There's also the master chest, but I'm going to go down and check out Petra first. And she has a book. This Forsworn, nothing worth taking. Let's see if I can dump off, if I have anything, uh, nope, nothing to dump off here, R read Rain's hand, yeah, that doesn't help out. Now, you search the corners and crannies, there's usually something hidden, and there is this over here, search the Forsworn, nothing there, but there's a nice book that increases illusion. And then this area, which is kind of like where the Hag Raven crash out. There's a potion and some feathers. Nothing else here. Now let's go over. Nothing over here. And yep, there's some bird's nest here. Take some eggs and wheat. Wheat, wheat, wheat is good. And cast again. Nope. So let's get over to the... Again, I'm checking nooks and crannies, but let's get over to the master chest here where the um, shield is being held. And you can complete the quest once you pick up the shield of Holifer, which is just a regular iron shield. Ah, an enchanted iron sword. Now you can bring the shield back to the Yarrow and get a reward. The Eye of Mechna is a fireball casting staff. So again, let's get to the Yarrow and get our reward. I would have cut to the Yarrow, but... You don't want to miss these treasure opportunities once you leave the tower. There are several urns and several treasure chests as you exit the tower. And they contain gold and some other treasure, mainly gold, elven armor, and let's see what this has. Ooh, yeah, some potions. Now you flip this switch and you get out and I'm going to fast travel to Mark Karth and get a reward from the Yarrow. Fast travel to Understone Keep or whatever it is and now I'm going to walk over to the Yarrow, hand him his shield 
and get my reward. They live here. Good to have you by my side. You've honored my father's memory in more ways than I have words to say. I hereby grant you permission to purchase property in my city. Talk to my steward if you're interested. And take this, a gift from the Yar's personal stores. Well, you can buy property in uh, Markarth. And it's usually a pretty good uh, piece of property. And it might be a nice getaway from the kids and Camilla. Well, if you like this video, hit the like button. Leave some comments. Um, I always try and respond to comments. I'm, at this point, alternating between Skyrim videos, possibly Red Dead Redemption 2 videos, maybe even Grand Theft Auto Vice City videos. Either way, um, if you like the videos I'm putting out, I put out four videos a week. And if you don't want to miss out, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon and you will be notified when I put out videos. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by. Mm -hmm.